All right, today on Crazy Performance Repair, I'm not even going to go through and edit this video because I believe I can do it all relatively quick and more or less live, but obviously not officially live. I will be uploading this so it's in a little bit better detail without the choppiness. But I have had some requests here, and these are Bloms, correct? Now, there are two different Bloms here. They look pretty much identical, almost almost the same. Now there's a couple differences, even from the top side here I'm noticing. And uh, it's these little buttons that are sticking up here. They're oriented a little bit differently it appears. That's interesting, that's definitely, it's definitely different. Huh. Okay, so this one has this here. So there's a hump here. So pay attention to that. So you have these two humps, that hump. These ones do not have, this one does not have the hump. So this is the top view. Now this is the spot that you can see inside the vehicle, or from, from by the intake manifold, the throttle body is right over here. So you're going to be able to distinguish these two from this video if you compare on your vehicle from this area here. Now these are the bolts that you're able to access are these three. So those are the ones that you can check if it's a loose blom that's causing an issue or not. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with this blom here. We're going to flip it over. Now we'll keep them on the same side as what I started. So this one is the one on your guys' left and you can see this one is bolted together. Now this is the one on my Vlom mod video that I did the Vlom modification where I removed the guts, pulled the sensor, plugged the port. Okay, So this one is the one that you guys are already aware of, but I've been getting several people asking about this one here and how they're supposed to address that one. So this one we are aware, we know what to do, we know how to modify it, take it apart, modify it. Simple enough. This one, however, without the lumps, and it's and it's kind of like backwards from the top view there. If we flip this over, this one is what's called riveted together. You can't unbolt this. This is unable to be unbolted. What I've been telling people is to cut this gasket, but I have this guy that's continually asking me questions right now, and I decided I'm gonna make a video on it here. And I saw that he had pulled, he's, he's a, he's a guy who watches my videos but he had pulled this strip off and these solenoids off on the picture that he had sent me and so that made me think wait if you could pull the solenoids do you have to cut the gaskets I never really looked up close on one of these but I just happened to have one of these in the shop today because last week I ended up with a vehicle that had one of these in here I was just gonna modify this one put it in his vehicle and be done and then deal with this later but I'm gonna address it now while I have his vehicle here in fact so I have a little screwdriver here. I believe this is all I need to take this thing apart. I think that this can pry off of here. Perhaps somewhat easy. We will find out in a second. Well, maybe not. Maybe not exactly easy. Okay, so that's not that's not the solution. Oh, I see. This is actually riveted. So these are riveted in place as well, but. There are some tabs down here, and I think, there we go, okay, there, that's how it's done. Okay, so these tabs, there's these little rings, these snap rings in here, and these snap rings, oh, they're, they're like roll-lock style of rings, so there's a, a spot that you can get that you can pry up on, and I'll show you that in just a second here, I'm going to do a couple of them. So you see how I'm walking this around this clip here and that's to pull it out of its spot that it's locked into place with so now it's loose I'm gonna do the next one and this one I'll bring up closer to you guys so you can see what I'm actually latching on to here okay I have the screwdriver in there hopefully it stays oh it, it stays up up a little bit Okay, so we're going to look at the one I haven't done yet. Um, there it is. There's a little tab. Oops, got to get you guys in the right picture here. Sorry about that. There's a little tab right here. You guys can't even see it barely. See the little line right there? That line 
is this here. And that is the clip that I am working around and essentially pulling up to take out here. Okay, so that's how I take that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this last one real quick here. That's how I'm taking these off of here. Weird that I'm sitting on the ground, right? Well, I'm actually recording this video with my phone because it's easier for me to upload that way than my actual decent camera. And uh, it just makes it a little bit easier for me to upload without editing if I do it that way. So now I'm trying to take this clip off the electrical connector. There's a little spot right here. There it goes. Okay, so that's off. Now, in theory, I should be able to pop these solenoids out of here. I might, I'm going to go grab a hammer quick and give them a tap. They're probably stuck in there. If you guys haven't noticed, I haven't been able to post very many videos lately. I've been just slammed to the top in my garage lately. Let's see here. It's going. It's taking a little bit, though. There it goes. There's one. There's the other. Now it's going. There it is. All right. Okay. So we pop the solenoids out here. There is a little wave plate. That's like a pressure plate for the spring to go against, I suppose, um, to apply pressure to these plastic deals to hold the seals down into place. Um, so what we're trying to accomplish here is to modify it like we did this one in a way that doesn't require cutting the gasket and uh, I think this is all I need to do I honestly do well well this and of course we have to plug this up still so you still have to do the same thing as my Vlom, Vlom mod video I'll throw a link up above in the corner right now for that video and it tells you the sizes the dimensions of the thing that you need to put in here to plug this but uh, I'm going to grab an air nozzle and we are going to test this because I believe that right now if I were to put oil pressure in this, it would come out here. In fact, I know it well. Yeah, so this would allow it to free flow and you would not build pressure underneath because your goal is to not have pressure on those towers if you don't want that Vlom to ever have a problem again. Um, another note is something I forgot to mention with this one, when I did that one, is where this connector goes through. If you remove this plate, that connector is really sloppy loose because that plate is kind of locking the connector into place. Uh, what I do is I put a hose clamp around it. Most people have figured it out, but every once in a while, if somebody asks me, they just don't think about it. You know, it's, it's pretty something you just don't think about all the time. But this one, it looks like it locks into the plate fine on its own. However, uh, if you felt unsecure about it for whatever reason, you could throw a hose clamp around it. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but it well collapses those little tabs. So there's that. Oh, excuse me. Tired. Been, been busy, like I said. Let's go ahead and finish this video up and check the passageway quick. Okay, so we have the Vlom here, and I'm going to go ahead apply some pressure right here. Oh yeah. Yep, comes right through. So let's make sure that these go right through as well. And preferably not in my face though. I think I know why I did that. Oh, there it goes. Yep, it's wide open. Perfect. So that, pulling these out is all you need to do. It's wide open. Now we don't have to waste our time with the uh, rivets here. Just taking that off alone is good enough. And once you turn it off in the computer, which you must do, if you've got one of these VLOMs, you have to disable the DOD inside the computer. If you do not, your computer will go into limp mode, the vehicle won't run right, it won't work well for you. We'll put it that way. So, there you have it. A, another version of a VLOM mod to address another issue that people are running into. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, like, share, subscribe. And as always, I hope to see you on another video. Thanks for watching.